Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the WorkSharp Knife and Tool Sharpener. There are many, many different kinds of sharpeners out there, and I've reviewed many of them, and I think I've covered all the types in past videos. Um, you have the stone method, which you have to get very proficient with because you've got to make sure that you keep the right angle on the knife as you go down. And without any kind of guides or anything, it's just something that you have to learn. Then you have the um, V-type where you pull the knife through. And actually that works really good because you don't, you know, it has built-in guides that, with the right angles. And you just pull it through, but some people might press too hard and remove way too much material. Also, if you have a nick in the knife, it can actually make it worse, not better. And then you have the rod system, where it, it's almost a perfect solution, and they're pretty portable. But if you have a knife that's in really, really poor condition, uh, it's going to take a long time to get the knife sharpened up with the rod system. And that's where the work sharp uh, knife and tool sharpener comes in because this really solves all the different problems into one tool. Um, there is one con, it is electric powered so you have to be by an uh, electrical source but this uses a belt and it has guides and the, the neat thing about it is that professionals when they sharpen their knives they use abrasive belts on big machines. Now you could get the same type of sharpening technique in your home in this small little product and what's really neat is you get these convex edges with the belt sanders like this because the belt gives a little bit as you put your knife um, in the slot and it ends up making the edge sort of slightly rounded like that which is actually a better edge or at least um, in my opinion it's a better edge I know a lot of other people think so too so let's go ahead and take a close look at this now what you get with this is the tool itself you get um, abrasive belts, you get two coarse, two medium, two fine, you get two guides, you have the outdoor guide right here where you could sharpen your knives at a 50 degree total angle or that's 25 on each side and then you also have a slot here or a guide for your scissors and then in this area you're going to use for serrated edges. Then you have your kitchen um, guide where you would sharpen them to a 20 degree angle um, right there which is 40 degrees on both you know total for both sides is what you use. I'm going to put this aside we're not going to do kitchen knives today they also give you an instructional CD they give you or a, a DVD I'm sorry they give you a, a card with a guide on what to use for what knife and get some more information and some more information user's guide right there this product is made in the USA and is warranted for a year and the price varies um, right now let me take a look here on Amazon they're selling it for sixty eight dollars and sixty nine cents I'll go ahead and put a link below I actually got it cheaper keep an eye on the price because it goes up and down and you can get it sometimes as low as um, fifty nine bucks if you keep an eye on it all right, so what you want to do is put your um, guide on here. You can see there's two screws right there. You just put this down onto those screws just like that, and the guide is on. Real simple. The power switch, you have a inner, a momentary and always on kind of rocker switch. So um, reverse, it goes just momentary, and then that way it just stays on and runs. You also have a knob here where you adjust the alignment of your belt once it's on there so it stays centered, just like with any other sander. You also have a little um, spring-loaded button or, or groove undoing thingy here. It's so you can move this head around just like that. And the reason why you want to do that is you could, um, while the belt is on, actually like um, put this all the way forward. Let me just go ahead and demonstrate it just like that and run it across like big tools like axes and and things like that or lawnmower blades actually is a good use for this so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to put the fine belt on here to demonstrate how it's going to be used I have my cold steel American lawman right here which is one of my everyday carries 
and we'll go ahead and just slide it in the slot just like that and then what you do here is a spring loaded um, piece here you just twist it like that to keep it down you press it and twist it and then once you get the belt on there you untwist it and just let that spring push it back up then to align it you just go ahead and you know while you turn it on you just move this knob Whoops. and you can see the alignment um, pushed it off so there is an example of how not to um, mess up your alignment so we'll go ahead and um, fix that <laughs> Now I've actually used this a lot and I'm just showing you everything that could possibly go wrong um, as a good example. So now that my alignment is way off you can see how it's pushing all the way to the edge. You just adjust this knob until it um, pushes into the other direction. Let me go ahead and I'm not sure which way I was doing that. There we go. Okay. So you want to go ahead and just get it centered so it stays centered right on that wheel just like that all right now let's go ahead now this knife is already sharp I don't have I don't own too many knives that are not already sharp I keep them razor sharp all the time but if you do if you use a sharpening system um, not correctly you'll ruin the knife and it won't be as sharp so if I don't do this right then it's going to mess it up so anyway the way you want to use this is you want to put the knife down into the slot all the way down as far as it can go just like that and then tip it against the guide just like that and just pull through while it's on and just do it an equal amount on each side And some uh, hair here. All right, so we are definitely shaving pretty good there. You can see all that hair there. So it's definitely putting a razor edge on this knife. So there's no need to show it off on paper because it's obvious. Uh, it's uh, extremely sharp. We'll do the little thumbnail thing right there. Yep, it grabs it really good. Now to give you an idea of what this device can really excel in is restoring an abused knife. Now here is what used to be a very abused knife. It's a old E307X made by Leatherman. They don't make it anymore. The steel is a uh, really good steel, 154 cm, which means it's harder, therefore harder to sharpen. And the blade was absolutely tortured. It was um, com had a bunch of nicks, it was completely dull, it was a destroyed blade and it was barely useful anymore. So I went ahead and started sharpening this with the coarse belts and then the medium belt and then the fine belt which is almost like a honing type of deal and got this thing looking pristine like it is now. Just like you're seeing here. Yes, I did have to remove a lot of metal here. Any other sharpener would have taken forever to do it. But um, with this, with the coarse belt, you can remove a, a lot um, rather quickly. And then once you go to the uh, medium and fine, then it's, it's not going to remove an enormous amount of material. But in this case, I had to really take off a lot to get beyond the nicks that were in the blade. And now we have a a very very nice very very sharp again able to shave with it now knife that can be used uh, just like a brand new knife so the pros of this is that it's a rather inexpensive device that um, does what very expensive belt sanders do that professional um, knife people would use. People who make knives and then sharpen them, they use these belts. It's also very quiet considering what it's doing. Most belt sanders are very, very loud, even tabletop ones. Now, also made in the USA. I know a lot of you feel that's extremely important, and it is. Now, also, I didn't point out, there's the notch to do scissors, and it does scissors very well. And now let's talk about the 
cons, serrated edges. It advertises that you can do serrated edges, but all they do is tell you to come over on this area right here that has no guide and just sort of run it down the side that's smooth on the serrated edge. You know how serrated edges you have the notches on one side and it's smooth on the other like a chisel edge and you're just taking a little bit of material off that flat edge of it to get the um, serrations sharpened and there's no guide there to do it. Um, eh. Now um, I think that's really all the cons that I, I can find. There There is a very very slight learning curve when you do pull the blade out of this notch as you come and you pull it all the way you could accidentally drop it down and mar the point so you really gotta keep track of what you're doing and maybe just as you're coming to the point sort of lighten up so you don't uh, dork up the point there is uh, also a much more expensive version of this that has Ken Onion's name on it, but that's upwards of $130, and it has even more features. Again, you can move this around like that, take off the guide, and then you have something that you could run, run along your uh, axes and, and larger tools, maybe big machetes and um, those lawnmower blades are really important. So very versatile tool, a lot of features in this little rather quiet device. You'll get professional results um, without very much practice at all. I mean if I could do it, I think anybody can do it. <laughs> okay so I do recommend it and um, again I'll go ahead and provide the link below on Amazon to make it easy if you just want to go ahead and buy a big great gift too coming up on the holiday season. Alright, well thank you very much for joining me here at the Your Obsession channel. I really appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and especially you, and I hope you have a great evening. Take care. Bye.